Welcome back to Apollo Justice. Last time we narrowly avoided uh, the whole case being over because it you know, seems a little simple from the start. But, uh, no, we called the Siren to testify and she's here. So let's continue. It's my distinct time to welcome the Siren of the Ballad to our courtroom. You are too kind. Ah, oh, you can speak English. Yes, yes I can. Although I'm not very good. There is much I do not know. You speak so well. Have you spent time here before? Actually, I don't know how I came by my knowledge of your language. Know where I studied it. What does she mean she doesn't know? I too thought the colors a witness, but I did not. I had a reason, of course. What's that? Lemoore suffers from amnesia. Amnesia? Lemoore is not my true name. Yet I remember nothing of the time before I was given it. Nothing of the time bef before when I started singing on stage. Whoa, she's even more mysterious than I thought. As Lloyd would sing a little more, she lives a good life. There is little difficulties for her thanks to her success. Yet, I did not wish to subject her to unnecessary stress. Hmm, I see. I care surprisingly little about people's pasts. You have nothing to fear in this court, Lamar. Thank you. There's said something I don't understand. I'm being called as a witness. What might I say? No one will tell me anything of what happened. Lamar, let me be frank. I did not want to ask you up here to testify. Yet that young gentleman with the wide forehead over there was adamant that you stand. Oh my. Congratulations, Apollo. You're the bad guy. Ugh. Well, now that you're here, please give us your testimony. If nothing else, the sound of your voice is welcome. Tell us what you saw the night of the crime. If anything. That's what I saw. I saw nothing. That night I was invited to sing on stage, and this I did. I had not returned backstage until after the second set. I was led, then led by the police to Mr. Gavin's dressing room and told to wait there. That was where I learned that something had happened, but I wasn't told the details. Hmm, I must say, you sound wonderful just testifying. I hope he wasn't too distracted to hear what she was actually saying. There you have it, she saw nothing that night. Now I can only pray that the defense has since to admit defeat. And refrain from detaining her longer than need be. Ah, oh, you just got bad here, Apollo, way to go. Ugh. Very well, Mr. Justice, keep it, keep it short and sweet. Lumber wouldn't talk to me the night of the crime. She must know something, I've got to find out what. What are you hiding from me, Lim? What are you hiding from me, Lumore? You saw nothing. But you must have seen something. Mr. Latos named you. Mr. Latos, how can I tell you what I do not know? Lamore, he said you were a witness with his dying words. I do not know what he meant to say, but that night. Right to sing on stage. Yes, you did. It, it was a great concert. You heard me sing. Thank you. I was hoping to get an autograph later, actually. <laughs> Paul, this is not the time. Not the time for this. Of course. Mr. Justice, this is a cross examination. You're on a line. If anyone deserves an autograph here, it's me. One of my gavel would be nice. <laughs> Head judge. What's this? It's my autograph. Now keep this trial moving. What? Oh, my grandchild would be so happy. Apparently his grandson is a big fan. Let's continue, shall we? If you would, the more. Tell us what you did after your solid performance. Didn't go backstage. You did not return backstage once. Where were you then? What were you doing? I was cleaning up on stage. There are many things I must do for performance other than simply sing. I was Machi with you at the time. Unfortunately, I do not know where he was. So much for an alibi for Machi. Led by the police. With Machi, correct? How was he then? He seemed as he always does, though I believe he was shocked by the news of Mr. Tells' death. Yet, he's not the type to show much emotion. Yet, he's given the police no end of headaches. He answers most questions with silence, and those good thing frames speak nothing. The questioning hasn't gone very far. We sat there, waiting. How was the incident explained to you? I was told nothing in detail, only that Mrs. Latos had died. Of course, investigations requires some security. But Mr. Latos was my manager. I wanted to know more. 
I should have been told. What much in there beside herself is concerned. I do apologize, but please understand. Keeping you in the dark was as painful to me as it was for you. Yes, I understand. Think, what doesn't ring true about her testimony? I'd imagine the more lying. She might not be lying, but she's hiding something. Why didn't she tell me the night of the murder? Huh. Speaking of the night of the murder... This is the Moors. I just frowned at the crime scene, but you didn't go back during the second set. But how is it here then? Objection! I'm sorry, the Moor, but I'm having trouble believing you. Remember this brooch, do you not? Oh, well, that's the Moors. She's wearing it to her song. Here to add that to the testimony, Prosecutor Kevin. Oh, what? This brooch was found after the murder took place. The very scene of the crime. What? Lemore, how did your brooch get backstage if you don't go there yourself? And as Prosecutor Gavin has just told us, you've been wearing it during your performance at night. What, what is the meaning of this? Lemore, please explain. Lemore? She says English is difficult. The truck's not going to work here. Your forehead may be large, but you are a lawyer, truly. But you have missed one important fact. What now? <laughs> I at the time of the incident. I went backstage, but only for a moment. But what? <laughs> Think back to the moment of the crime. You know where would I speak? Is she really saying all that? What she's talking about, Apollo? That I didn't put a voice on Juicy, but hey, it's fine. And Apollo just had a revelation without me, because I was blabbing on. She's talking about that? Watch this room for me. I have to call for backup. Right, understood. We need to make sure no one comes in, right? Mr. Tuss, can you hear me? Cold. So cold. Witness. You're cold. D don't worry. You're gonna be fine. Help us on the way. The wit witness is... S -s 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 siren. Siren? How can a siren witness anything? Hey, it's Emma. What was that? Who's there? What's wrong? Emma, do you see anyone just now? Huh? No. That's when I heard a door close. I looked into the room. Just a glance, mind you. This is when your brooch was dropped. That explains it. It does. There was no other time I could have dropped it. That's ridiculous. You were looking for an incident, but you dropped your brooch. Her forehead. She has raised the possibility. The only thing that can counter that is evidence. Hmm, so you looked in at the crime scene. Actually, I intended to go into the dressing room. I knew nothing of what had happened, of course. But the moment I opened the door, I heard a horrible voice. I forward shouting, who's there, no doubt. A horrible voice indeed. Uh, I closed the door immediately. Well, that explains the brooch. Let's just run to her testimony. It's too, just too convenient. She's hiding something. The more you did look into the room, right? Uh, y yes. Testify is what you saw. Very well, there was only the briefest of glimpses. Hmm. What did you see in that brief glimpse? I'd only opened the door slightly when I heard that horrible noise. And shut the door. I've always wondered, her forehead. Is that voice of hers like a volume knob? It's my cords of steel, man! Just back off! Hmm. A wall? Was there a wall there? It, 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 is what in English? A division or a partition, I believe. It's a large dressing room divided into two halves. The murder took place in the inside half. I guess the partition might have hidden the body. I mean, we have the, the bracelet, so let's see if there's anything... It's not really moving at all. You can only really see her face. Yeah, 
Hear it again. Huh. You're not talking as much as... Well... I'll give it a shot. Gotcha! Oh. That's not what I was looking at, but... She didn't... She wasn't opening her mouth all the way. Anyway. The late Mr. Thetas' body, you say? Yes? You know something more of Mr. Thetas' death than you were saying. What? I see you're trying not to remember. The effort made you swallow. You can't fool my eyes. It is true. It was so terrible after all. Why did Mr. Thetas have to be shot? One moment, no more. Yes? What was that you just said? Why did Mr. Thetas have to be shot? Y yes? She was hiding something, I knew it. No more, I'm afraid you haven't realized it, but... Your words just now contradict your testimony. Eh? How could that be? Take this. More contradict your own testimony. I have the evidence to prove it. Yeah, you can't... You can't see. You definitely can't see. I don't misunderstand the meaning of contradiction. It is you who contradict, Mr. Justice. What do you mean that's the wrong evidence? The revolver? No. What do you mean, wrong evidence? Why did it have to be shot? Crime scene photo? What do you mean? What do you mean that's the wrong evidence? How dare you try and tell me that that's the wrong evidence? What evidence do you want? What evidence are you looking for? I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't listening. Hmm. Ugh, it was the one thing I didn't... It's the one thing that I was looking at. I was like, maybe, but nah, it has to be something else. It's, it's, the, it's this. Tell me a little more. How did you know when he had been shot? Eh? Well, I... Immediately following the incident, a gag order was placed on the scene. There's a document proving that. In your testimony, you told the court. No one told me anything about the incident. Ah... Uh, furthermore, you testified that you had seen nothing. Yeah, you knew Mr. Redhouse had been shot. How could you have known? Your... The more, you aren't hiding something from this court, I hope. That sweet song of hers was shining a little too sweet. Ah, now I remember. Please, allow me to add to my testimony. Of course. What all we want to know is the truth. It looks kind of pale, huh? You saw something, I know it. Even the victim said so. You saw bullet holes on the wall? Only a glimpse that you knew there were bullet holes. Yes, I recognized them immediately. I've seen bullet holes before, you know. 
You traveled the world as a singer. You also have sung in places far too dangerous in our country. I or my voice is needed. Those places are many these days. That's really cool. I hope I can travel like them more someday. I plan to record an next album overseas. The series of a different sound, you know. Maybe I should go on a Cordes Steel tour too. Mm, not buying that. Because the door opens. Door opens on the other side of those. So no. The more they call you the side of the ballad. But lies are hardly becoming a shit creature. A put down worthy of our prosecutor, Mr. Justice. Let's put down the highly unbecoming of you, Paolo. Stop polishing your forehead and start polishing your character, Jean. Come on, can it be cool for once? Serve the diagram. The more you looked from the door for just a moment. Correct? I yes, it is so. There are bullet holes in that room, yes. But they're in the wall. The door is on. Eh. You see? Assuming you're merely glancing into the room. You couldn't have seen the post bullet holes. You're... The more. Yes. I'm afraid the fence has raised a good point. Because you have been holding back something. And I must tell you. I must tell you what it is I saw. Yes. The happenings in this trial are being recorded. I'm certain it will be on the news in Port Virginia. You understand your reputation is at stake. I falls to you to avoid tarnishing it. Personally speaking, I still believe that cross examining her will do this absolutely nothing. But she knew how Mr. Taus died. He named her as a witness. You must have seen something, the more. Very well. The more, please continue your testimony. Very well, I shall. New testimony. Okay, good. Because we've gone back to that one testimony like 20 times. I don't away from the stage to the backstage, I checked. There was something like a little window there. That's how I saw it. I saw there were two shots. I couldn't do anything to stop it. But it wasn't Machi. It was a grown person. I know it was. She did witness the crime. And the killer was a grown person, you say. <laughs> this is the first time hearing this, I assure you. Nice play for forehead. Very well, uh, uh, Mr. Justice. You may can you be in your cross-examination. Get going, Apollo. You're right about the more. What's wrong? You don't look too happy. This whole thing smells fishy. That's what's wrong. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Uh. Okay, we saw from the little window. Um, what if I have something like a little window? Yes, well, window is the best word I know in English. I think that's how it is said, yes. You are not worry anymore. Your choice of words is impeccable. There's a small window in the dressing room in question. Perhaps the defense members this detail. That little window on the wall. I er, saw the crime from there. Really, though? Well, I mean, I guess... Emma said it could only be opened a little crack, but there was a window there. Okay. You're certain you heard two shots fired? Yes, quite certain. I was on my way to the backstage exit. That was when I heard a faint sound. Like a gunshot. Wondering what it had been, I peered through the window. This is when I heard the second gunshot. Much closer. There were two bullet holes at the scene. No contradiction so far. May I check... Not that. Without gun. Does the gun say that? No, but alright. What happened on the other side of that window? There's nothing I could do. It wasn't Machi. It wasn't Machi who was shot. Are you sure? Yes, quite certain. <laughs> it means me that you would question our testimony. It's testimony in your favor. It's my, isn't my job to object. Yeah, Paula, what are you thinking? Juicy, let's just listen to what more has to say. You tell me how you were so sure. Yes, of course. You see... It's a grown person. I know it was. A grown person. That's a little vague. I'm sorry. My skill with your language is lacking, I know. Certainly you could at least see whether the shooter was male or female. It was a man. A young man. 
Are you sure of that? Yes, his voice is quite clear. Voice. Hmm. Looking at this diagram, it seems the dressing room is quite cluttered. It does seem likely that you wouldn't have had a clear view of the shooter. As I think I rely more on my ears than my eyes. I hear a voice, do not forget it. That voice was the voice of a man. You heard a voice, but wait. Couldn't that have been the victim, Mr. Zotelis? Absolutely not. Did I not just say that I do not forget a voice? If it was Mr. Zotelis who spoke, I would have known. Hmm, indeed. So you at the window when you heard the shooter's voice. The voice of a young man. Oh, this is a good testimony. It appears it was a machi. Indeed. This turns out to be true. Who would cast this case in a zero di different light? What is the principal opinion to this testimony? Hmm. I mean... Hmm. I don't really like it. I don't like it. Though it pains me to say this. There's nothing wrong about testimonies more than testimony that rings false. <laughs> Bravo, Heffelhead. You're cooler than I thought. I'm sure you're more of what the problem is as well as I do, Captain. It's been established. No grown man could pass through that air vent. You couldn't have fled the scene of the crime. But that means that more has to be lying. I know, and I know it's bad for our case, but I can't shut my eyes to this. Believe me, the idea is tempting. As Hefo had says, yet this is not the only contradiction with her testimony. Mm, yeah, I'd have to agree, honestly. But but we will see where it goes next time. So until then.